up my people so i am here reporting to you live from blc in grafenhauer germany graf graf grafenhauer if you know how to say that shit good for you what's up my peoples good morning my peoples good morning good morning good morning um i kind of want to sit here and like talk to y'all for a minute i am back as you can see, I think this is my first vlog with me and my cut hair. I'm not really sure. Outside of Greece, I know y'all see me in Greece with my hair cut, but like me sitting at home, like in uniform type shit like this, I'm chilling. Um, I'm about to actually go to work. I'm not really chilling. It is 9.07. It's 9.07 a.m. on a Monday morning. I have a PT test tomorrow morning, and you guys, I'm so tired and nervous, but luckily because I went up in age, my scores are just a little bit different. And I get a whole extra minute for a run, for my run, I gain more points now, or something like that. Like, now for 80 points, all I need is to run my two mile in 18 minutes, which is where I'm at right now. So it, it's, it makes sense for me to do that. But, um, so I am gonna pass. I'm not worried about it. I just, I just, I just hate PT tests. Anybody else hate PT tests? Vote I. I. Okay. Um, what else has been going on? Uh, Hurricane H Hurricane Houston. Hurricane Harvey hit. I know y'all know about that. Um, I actually flew out of Houston the day before it hit. So I was kind of fortunate enough not to get stuck. Um, I don't know. That's just how that's just how my travel plans had planned out. You know what I'm saying? It's not like anything I planned. But my, my flight had been booked back in like March or whatever. So I missed hurricane harvey which is a good thing um because it it was very devastating my family is okay like everybody is okay um i think we only know of one family that like lost everything so far um but like my mom her roof fell in so she's waiting to hear back on this stuff like that but nothing like devastating like losing everything or like flooding out the entire house or anything like that like no everybody's pretty much good it's really extra right now and i'm like stressed out about going to school i'm stressed out about being the only e5 that's going to be in the class like it's not fun so what else i so this week i have to work on packing and getting ready for blc not to mention like legit not for nothing like when i come back from blc like i'm going to have to out process and move back to the states in one week so when i come back from blc i need to get back out process pack my shit up because i just haven't had time to pack it up i don't have the resources to pack it up it's not like i have a car to where i could just make runs back and forth to the post office not that I even have the money to make runs back and forth to the post office to ship shit back home like it's just a fucking mess right now oh <sighs> so i'm just a little stressed because it's like i'm having to go to school and then come back in out process and come back and move across international waters do you know what i'm saying do you understand what i'm saying do you understand where is it coming out all right what's up my peoples i don't know if you can tell by now but i'm about to do a layout for my blc i'm going to basic leader course and I got to basically do a layout of my packing list, everything that I packed. Basically, I have to lay out everything that's on my packing list for my first sergeant in order for him to sign off on my packet. Now, BLC is a course for um, E4s to get promoted to sergeant. And as you can see, I'm already a sergeant. So I felt like I'm going to be good already. But just so the first sergeant can be the first sergeant. We gonna let him do this damn <laughs> layout. So y'all gonna watch me do a layout. Yay, if you don't know what a layout is, you about to find out, hey. Here is the packing list. And let's get started. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, it can't be replaced. Since no one else, let me like you do. That's why I don't mind to spend my life with you. I won't please you in any way I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand?
Everything, people's everything, everything. Y'all wanna see? Okay. Took me 17 whole minutes, huh? Alright, so here is what my layout looks like so far. Everything with that goes with my ASUs. Look at my little stripes. I can't wait to put it on for you guys. Um OCP. Take the dog tags out of here. Dog tags, towels, which I'm not using those towels. I have towels. Those are just for inspection. Shower shoes. I got all the Velcro shit that is necessary. A fucking ruler and a lock pad. Then I got my shirts, draws. I'm not showing him my bras. That's just too much because those aren't brand new. If these weren't new, I wouldn't show these either. But I got socks, an extra patrol cap, cold weather gloves, um, the hat that you wear for PT that covers your ears and it helps you keep warm, um, winter hat, um, my APFU jacket and trousers, two short sleeves, two long sleeves for my PTs, two pairs of shorts, Got my notebooks and everything over here. My backpack for school. Oh, you gotta bring an extra pair of boots. That's one, these are two. And then this is all the equipment that I have to bring. A laundry bag, waterproof bag, rucksack, assault pack, rifleman's kit, magazines, 30 round magazines. Um, my IOTV, my ACH with cat eyes, or a helmet band, ballistic glasses, knee pads, ear pro, uh, my IFAC, which is basically your medical bag um, or first aid kit. What are those? Um, combat gloves, uh, camel back, rifle, uh, M16 cleaning kit, some camo face paint, sleeping bag, the Gen 3 wet weather gear, a poncho, a compass and a protractor, 550 cord, a whistle, a little thing that goes over your face and your head, two sets of poly pro, and another wet weather jacket, and cold weather, or boots, I mean, and then I have just like extra shit, like more cold weather shit, because it's going to be cold up there, oh, my beret, I need to put this up here, so you know I got my beret, I got an extra uniform just in case, like, because this is like a dirty deployment fracky uniform, so I got brought that just in case, I got more wet weather stuff, just in case, oh, I have Waffle Top Poly Pro. That's my favorite. I don't like the Silky Poly Pro. More gloves, just in case somebody else needs some, because you know I'm already coming in as an NCO, so I want to make sure I'm taking care of other soldiers just in case. <sighs> so now I'm just waiting on First Sergeant. Yeah, right here. So now I'm just like waiting on First Sergeant to come so we can do this layout. I hope he's not canceling, because yesterday we were supposed to do a layout and he canceled, and I was already starting to lay out. Um, but yesterday, uh, yeah, like I was saying, first aren't canceled on me after I was already starting to lay out, which is good because I kind of got like a practice layout and I realized that I needed a whistle, so I ran up to the PX and I bought a whistle. So it was good that we didn't do our layout yesterday. However, I'm still missing like one or two, ri one ribbon because I'm going to, I thought I had 10 ribbons, but I really, or 10 awards, but really I only have nine. So I got to go buy one more ribbon and dummy down on the, the rack. I got to get down to nine well i have okay so the award is submitted the award is done it just hasn't been presented to me so i should be able to wear that award i'm sorry i already know what it is and i already got it pretty much but i'm not going to so keep some integrity but as far as my packing list is concerned i feel confident in that my civilian attire i just have to like pack my civilian attire and that's about it but i'm pretty confident in what i have what's up my peoples
I'm reporting to you live from Nuremberg, Germany with a big ass pimple on my motherfucking forehead. You see that shit? And a new haircut. I don't know if I showed you guys my official Tischl haircut. Even though this is like a little bit too much faded. It'll grow in like three days. So right now I am in Nuremberg, Germany so that I can get to BLC and grab. Just like 45 minutes away from here and honestly, I don't want to go. <sighs> I could want to go to get it knocked out the way and I'm excited to learn a little something something. But at the same time, mm, nah. at the same time, I hate soldier soldier stuff. And it's cold, so that doesn't motivate me to do anything. Really, not anything spectacular. Hold out my camera so that you guys can hear Rob snore, but I guess he woke up whenever I pulled out my camera. I'm not what? You ain't right. What did I do to you? No, you ain't been in all in my face. It's morning. And I how you how you snore from a mile away and then wake up like that? Cause Andy ain't here waking me up. I don't know. Oh, you woke him up? No, I dragged my my backpack across the floor and saw that woke him up. And so I got video of him, but I didn't get the video of him snoring, like waking my ass up, interrupting my train of thought. Your train of thought. With his damn snoring. What are y'all trying to eat at? Food. Look at that face. She like a little kid, like that. I want some food. That's how you dress You hungry? <laughs> we got him. Wait, I wish I would have caught that shit. What Whatever's open. Which is Mickey D's. Hey, you talking about? Uh, hey, you go back to sleep, bro. You snoring? You snoring from talking about me snoring? Then I can hear you. They got Pizza yeah, Hut on post. Too. I have to get there. You want some Pizza Hut? Mm -hmm. I don't care what I eat. Pizza sounds good because you know I got my pizza. You eat some shit if you had to, huh? I don't know all that, but. I'm probably gonna have to get a pizza anyway because they, the defect's not open. So. Oh, they ain't open, bro. Uh, it's not open on the weekends, period. So when y'all drop me off, that's the last time I'm leaving. So what? They gonna put me in transition barracks first or some shit? Yeah, yeah. Y'all ain't gonna be in transition barracks. You ain't gonna be like this. No, you might be in um. No, that's right. You might. Be. You gonna be in transition barracks because they gotta process you first. No, you in process that day, today. It just depends. I don't know. They might in process tomorrow today, but they're going to put you in the barracks. You're going to hate that shit. You're going to be bored as fuck. I just want to go to my actual barracks and like you know what's unpack. About it? What? They don't have no service. Yeah, I know. I heard. No service. Uh, <laughs> hell. I, grab, I have no service when we do training. No hell. service. Hell, and that's like, what the training um, areas is. Well, he'll say you, could, you just got to be outside. Yeah, you got to be outside, but you barely. No, on your ass, you can probably be sleep. Cause your ass gonna be their formation gonna be like four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's what he said. Bruh, I just hate that shit. Four fifteen. And Spoon was just like, it's not bad. He said waking up that early. It's just, he said you got fire guard for two hours at night. I said what? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, you gotta stay there the whole day, bro. I, I feel like I'm in jail. I was about to say, what home I'm gonna go to? I guess if. If it was like, I thought she knew somebody from home. Um, how you call it? My ex husband, but they ain't my home. Shit, he got a whole fiance. Either way, I'm not worried about all that other extra shit. I just want to get straight I just to my want room, you to graduate. Shit, already. unpack, and get settled in. I want you to graduate. Me too. I'm gonna graduate. Hell, the fuck. I want you to make that hundred on that first PT test. Mmm, mmm. About that. Then I want to make sure you, make sure you all know how to Remember? instruct PT. That's mm -hmm. where they gonna grade. That's where your first test gonna be at. Remember? Then drill the ceremony. Rob step, mom. Rob step, mom. That shit. <laughs> that shit is so stupid, bro. You gotta do all the calls. Mhm. Mm 
I know how to do DNC though, because I was in JROTC. Oh, get right now. Nah, PT shit? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, dead on. <laughs> but, I'll figure it out. I gotta talk to you guys later. Bye. What's up, my people? So, I am here reporting to you live from BLC in Grafenhoer, Germany. Graf, Graf, Grafenhoer. If you know how to say that shit, good for you. But, anyways, I am here, day one of basic leader course and I can say as an already E5 that yeah just checking the box you know sorry I'm like whispering and stuff I don't have any roommates yet you can see this is my room so far this is my wall locker I brought yeah I brought so much fucking shit y'all should already know I'm like drama queen or whatever and I have to have all my skincare products and my you know just the most as if I have fucking hair. Y'all like my new haircut? No service. Anyways, oh, so let me tell you guys. We ain't got no fucking service out here on the phone. Like, you really have to be, like, outside really trying to get service. Like, you're not gonna get no service inside. Actually, one spot in my, in my other room, my in-processor room, like, there was one spot on my dresser that my phone gets service and, like, it literally would just go off, but I really couldn't send anything. Like, I would just get things, if that makes any sense. So far, I mean, we, like, do PT. This is going to be a huge adjustment. It's going to be 25 days, so I got 24 more days left. It's going to be a huge adjustment for me, because as you guys know, I'm in, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm in USARAF, and we don't do PT at all. And here, I'll be doing, like, PT every day. Um, I have a PT test tomorrow. Day two is uh, APFT. Just, I have to do a PT test every day. That right there is enough. We got to do fire guard at night. It's a lot. Uh, we have to do fire guard at night. We gotta... And then we don't get off of work until like fucking 6 o'clock in the afternoon or some shit. Like after chow, after dinner, which is like 1800. So that kind of sucks because I'm used to getting off around like 14, 1500, 1500, 1600. At the, okay, we can say 1700, but really... So this is going to be a huge adjustment because not only am I waking up earlier and doing more work, I'm sitting in class like all fucking day and then still not getting off till way later. Like, I'm just used to having my freedom. I wish I would have done this years ago, but legit, I've been an E5 for longer than most of these people have been in the army itself. So that's to put it into perspective for you. Like, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> But other than that, like, no, nothing big. I did, um, my TA-50, like, packing list or whatever, and, um, got 100 on that. Um, we did, like, some drilling ceremony. Like, they did the demonstration for us, and then we did, like, the introduction to BLC, basically. So, it was nothing major today, but it was tiring. Very tiring. And it's even more tiring because you don't have that distraction of, like, Facebook. Like, you can't be on, like, Facebook or, like, on your phone or anything like that. Because, one, you don't have service anyway. And, two, you're not supposed to be on Facebook in class. So, it's just, like, you really got to pay attention and focus. But we got formation. I think they're forming up outside. So, I will give it to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this video so far, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys in the next part of this vlog. Love you. I miss you guys, too. I'm sorry I couldn't upload before I left. I'm so sorry. I miss you guys so much. Thank <laughs> you.